someone a while ago requested a tutorial on how to make clothing for characters. I forget the username and uh, that was a long time ago so I'm not going to look the uh, username up right now but they requested a cloth tutorial like how to make clothing on a person. So what I've done is I've imported this mannequin from ZBrush, ZBrush depending how you pronounce it. Um, just a basic mannequin that they have. Uh, I just uh, exported it as an OB OBJ and I re-imported it. So um the the best way to make clothing on a character is to actually sculpt clothing now um this is better done in zbrush obviously because it's a dedicated sculpting a dedicated sculpting uh, application but you could for example add something like a cube and let's say i was gonna add a hat this character you know something like that so I'm gonna let's see here something like this maybe let's line it up obviously the model is actually tiny compared to blender units so yeah let's say I was gonna add a hat so right now it's intersecting with with the character which is fine maybe I could add a subsurf no not really what I'm looking for Yeah, let's say I'm going to make a hat like that. So I would go into sculpt mode and each piece of clothing would be a separate object. That way it um it's over top of your character and that way you're not um you're not sculpting on your character. You're sculpting kind of on top of your character. So I'm just going to turn on Dine Topo here. And I'm just going to use the basic sculpt draw brush. I'm not going to bring my tablet out, but yeah, basically you uh you would just do whatever you wanted maybe I'll add like a little brim here if blender can catch up I'm using a pretty small size here so yeah we have some cheesy little brim there maybe I'd want to flatten it out a bit so I'd grab um Oh geez, I'm so used to ZBrush now. Yeah, the grab brush, turn the size up. Go to side view. And push this thing down if I can. And then maybe it has a little, one of those little like French hat things. What would you call those? A button almost. Uh, this brush isn't liking me right now. Not enough geometry. Dive dine, dine top enabled? Yeah. Must just not work with the grab brush so so well. Uh, you get the idea. You make some sort of clothing object for your character. And that way it sits on your character. So now if I go back into just regular uh, object mode, um, you can move it on your character. You can place it however you want. I could take my character and I could, I could take all this geometry and, you know, delete it so that it's not intersecting like that. And that's, that's how you ideally add clothing to your character. So now my mannequin has a basic hat that I sculpted in like one minute. Um, a second way to add clothing to your character, completely within Blender, let's let's undo all that actually, and delete that hat, go back to the stock mannequin, is to use the cloth simulator. So if I go to top view, center my cursor right on top of his head, and go just above his head, like that, and add a mesh plane, I'm gonna scale it down, I'm gonna go about shoulder width, but I'm gonna let me go to wireframe. I'm gonna scale along the Y. Sorry, scale, not grab. Turn on screencast keys here. So I'm gonna scale along the Y. One at a boat shoulder width. Actually, maybe I'll leave it bigger than the body. So a boat shoulder width, but bigger than the body. 
then I'm going to tab into edit mode. I'm going to subdivide it a bunch. The more subdivisions, the more realistic. So I'm going to subdivide it, let's say, about six times. Maybe I'll go 10 just for some better detail, but it won't take forever to, to work. Now I want to cut a hole for his head. So I'm just going to cut a few faces out. So maybe these ones. Just guessing here. That's roughly centered. Basically, it's going to hit the object. It's going to fall straight down, so we want nothing to hit, be hitting his face, only his body. So I'm going to guess something like that, and I'm actually going to extrude all these lines here. Let me just grab them quickly. I'm going to make some more geometry for it. And again, the more geometry you have, the more realistic it is. But yeah, another way to add clothes. I'm actually doing the front too, just to be safe. I'm happy with where the shoulders are. I'm sure that'll look just fine. So I'm just going to keep extruding. And since we're doing clothes, well, we're going to do a cloth simulation. So let's go into our physics tab. And we're going to do a cloth simulation. So hit cloth. There's some presets. So let's just do, uh, let's just pick cotton and see. Just Let's just see what happens. Um, just a few important settings. First, we want self-collision. Otherwise, it will go through itself. Um, I'm going to turn the quality up to, let's say, 5. We'll do four. We'll do three. Like I said, we're going more for speed than anything. Uh, cloth collision quality. I'm going to go up again to about five, six. Ten is a good place to start. Um, stiffness, you could do a few other things. But anyways, yeah, do that. Then under the cache, we choose how many frames. So I'm sure it's not going to take... It's not going to take 250 frames to simulate. I'm going to drag it down so it's just, 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 over his shoulders. I just, oh, is it intersecting? I just want to make sure it's not intersecting the model or it will really screw up the simulation. That should be good. All right, so... Now I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit bake. I'm not gonna do 250 frames. I'm gonna try 100 frames and see what happens. So I'm gonna hit bake and we will see what happens. Okay, apparently that did it already because we had so few, uh, so few points for it to calculate. Usually that takes like at least 15 minutes. So let's check out what it did. It did not collide with it at all. That means that I need to add, I forgot to add collision to my character. So you can see soft body and cloth. So let's rebake that. So I'm going to free bake and then I'm going to bake again. Yeah, now it's going to take a bit longer. So I'll be right back. All right, so it's all baked. Let's see what it looks like. So if we hit play, you can see it collides with our character. And we can choose at any frame for it to um for it to to be where we want to render it. So maybe right you can see how it folds around, but then it kinda starts to fall off. So maybe somewhere right there where it starts to wrap around the character, maybe that's where I want it. So that's another way to add things like armor and whatever, but also clothing to a character. So that's the two main ways to add clothing to a character. If you're going to do it as a separate object, obviously the industry standard is to sculpt your character with clothing, but this is how you can add clothing to a character. So this is just a quick one, just that request uh, that that user brought out there. So I just wanted to show you a couple different ways to do it. So yeah, your options are to sculpt it as separate object on, objects on top of your character or to use the cloth simulator and generate cloth or to generate planes or shapes or whatever that 
will conform to your character to bake it and then choose a frame where it looks good and then you can then you can use that specific mesh and um you can texture it from there or whatever you want to do from that point so yeah there you go i've basically added i would call this like maybe chest plate armor i'd add a solidify modifier to it but yeah it, you can get clothing done with that too so yeah just want to throw that out there really quickly so if you learned something from this video great and that's really about all i just want to throw this out there quickly yeah for that guy so anyways thanks for watching from the team here at blender tech if you learned something or enjoyed it please like the video and consider subscribing for more blender unity programming photoshop and all sorts of other cg related videos we're now on twitter at twitter.com slash blender underscore tech so that's at blender underscore tech and facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page all one word and we also have podcasts at soundcloud.com slash blender tech one word we also offer free models textures codes and all sorts of other things on our website at www.blendertech.com that's blender tek.com if for some reason you dislike this video, don't just hit the thumbs down and leave. Please instead leave us a comment or if it's private, email us at info at blendertech.com about what you did not like so we can continually input our we can continually improve our videos based on community input. So thanks for watching from the team here at Blender Tech and don't forget our motto, create your way.